Understanding the Fire Department, an English Learning Guide. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a very important term in English, the fire department. Whether you're just starting to learn English or looking to expand your vocabulary, this video will help you understand what a fire department is and its significance in English-speaking countries. So, let's get started. The fire department is a critical public service in most countries. It refers to an organization that is primarily responsible for responding to fires, conducting rescue operations, and handling other emergencies like accidents and natural disasters. Fire departments are equipped with firefighting equipment, fire engines, and trained personnel known as firefighters. Understanding this term is important not just for language learning, but also for your safety and awareness in English-speaking regions. In this section, we delve into the role of firefighters, the brave individuals who work in the fire department. Firefighters are trained to extinguish fires, rescue people from dangerous situations, and provide emergency medical services. They play a crucial role in protecting lives and property, making them respected figures in the community. The term fire department also appears in everyday language and expressions. For example, someone might say they're as busy as a firefighter to indicate they are very busy, drawing a parallel to the often hectic and demanding schedule of firefighters. Understanding such expressions can enrich your English language skills and cultural understanding. While the basic concept of a fire department is universal, there are variations in how they operate in different countries. This section explores these differences, providing a global perspective on how fire departments function and are structured in various parts of the world. I hope this video has given you a clearer understanding of what a fire department is and its importance in English-speaking societies. Remember, Learning a language is not just about words, but also understanding the culture and context they're used in. Stay safe, and happy learning!